ignoring of a responsibility of duty, yes. Mm -hmm. In derogation of his official duties, mm -hmm. you cannot ignore, yes, the actual more turpitude crimes. Yeah. It is a kidnapping when you uh, award right, custody of my sons to my wife without me getting any documentation of court hearings. Yeah. Class B felony. Boop. It is in violation of this international agreements of nations yes, that you would not in any way uh, allow for the derogation of international agreements. <laughs> now, for the United States to say, well, we're just not going to participate. Poof. I, as a father, will not allow you to not participate. Well, why don't you give me the international agreements of the United States of America? <laughs> why don't you call the fucking Air Force right now? <laughs> because that idiot right now. You will be. <laughs> you will. You, dishonorable discharge for derogation of duty. Now, I told you at my own peril, Judge Porter. Yes. And you decided to sign. That's your signature there, isn't it? Poof. A dismissal because of my incompetence for knowing that you would not admit the exculpatory evidence. You would not allow my wife to be arrested for a false police report. Yes. You would not allow me to call my sons to the witness stand so that they could testify of any knowledge about that alleged crime. <clears throat> and then for the last three years and three months, you've tortured the fuck out of me right now. This state, this United States, is going to participate in all the international courts. <laughs> and for you as an Air Force uh, jack, <laughs> for the individual, no, it's Judge Porter, <laughs> that played top secret, <laughs> I will put the Air Force <clears throat> in international court right now. Now, it seems that the military does not want to reprimand their own. <clears throat> But I have emailed the Air Force. Yes, he has. I've emailed the Coast Yes, he has. I've emailed the Criminal Investigative Division of the United States Army. And it looks to me like there was nobody that would actually enforce the laws of the United States. 